Welcome back to Macroeconomica. Having made the analysis in the previous video, let us start taking decisions for further rounds. Let us take policy decision for round 3. In this round, we decide to retain tax rates and government spending at the same level but reduce the money supply by another 2%. Let us see the impact of these decisions by clicking on the go to next round button. Great to see the overall lead but unfortunately we see a sharp decline in the GDP rate which was predominantly due to decrease in money supply. We are happy to see the decline in the inflation. Looking at the history, the saddening part is very poor declining GDP growth but low inflation and much lower unemployment rate are great to see. With the tame down inflation, even the nominal interest rates have produced. Now we need to improve the GDP growth rate by increasing the money supply which is even voiced in the analysis screen. Let us take policy decision for round 4. In this round, we have the option to take some major economic strides of opening the economy and changing the exchange policy. Let us take the decision to retain the money supply at this level and to keep the tax rates and spending unchanged. But a major policy change we take in this round would be to open the economy and also change the foreign exchange policy to floating currency. Let us execute to see the resultant of the changes by clicking on the go to next round button. Though we lead on the overall basis, it is unfortunate to see declining GDP growth but better inflation and fiscal surplus rate. Moving to the history, Louis GDP growth is now becoming a major concern. All the while our focus was to reduce inflation which is one edge of the sword wherein now the other end has started to prick us badly. Unemployment rates also starts to show up its head. It's high time to erase the declining status of GDP growth rate. From the analysis, we can decipher that we need to marginally increase money supply to improve GDP and increase government spending to keep a check on unemployment rate. Graphs also give us much clearer picture on the relative impacts of the policy changes as we can choose the parameters to compare. We advise you to analyze more using the graphs on relative impacts of the economic parameters for a better decision making. Let us now move to take decision for round 5 after all of the above analysis. We decide to increase the money supply by 2% and increase government spending by 1%. We decide to retain the rest as it is. Let us execute to see the resultant changes. Nice to see the lead in the growth journey. But the GDP growth is trickling badly which calls for major corrections. Inflation at its lowest is good to see though fiscal surplus rate has changed. Nothing much to worry at this stage. History shows a drastic fall on the inflation which has paved way for good fall in nominal interest rate thereby making a good case for investment growth. Fall in GDP growth and increase in unemployment rate are serious issues to be addressed immediately. Analysis screen advises us to make changes in money supply for betterment of the economy. Let us move to take decision for round 6. We decide to increase money supply by another 3%, government spending by 2% and reduce tax rate by 1% to give a boost to the economy. At the end of round 6 and as the game gets over, we are happy to see the lead on the overall basis. 
GDP growth, reduced inflation, and better fiscal deficit. We are sure that this game would have given lots of learning on macroeconomics and policy impact of multiple macroeconomic parameters. With this learning, we leave you to play many more such practice sessions and tournaments for much better detailed learning. Wish you all the best. Keep gaming to keep learning. Thank you.